Welcome back. So we are still in our uh, second example for case 2. We're in our denominator has a repeated linear factors. So um, we have here the integral of x squared plus 1 dx all over uh, x squared and x plus 1. Okay. So um, first let's uh, analyze if this is a, a an, uh, proper or improper fraction because if this is an example of improper fraction we need to make some modification first and we need to divide first in order for us to um, make our um, numerator the degree of our de numerator is um, less than than the degree of our uh, denominator so let's check if we are in proper or improper fraction okay so um, our px is at degree 2 we have x squared for our qx, so what is the degree of our denominator? So in order for us to determine the degree of our denominator, we need to um, uh, multiply it. So we have x cubed, right? And then plus x squared. So our uh, degree is 3. So um, the uh, px2 is less than 3. So we are under proper. So we can uh, proceed to um, evaluation using our partial fractions. Okay? Let me erase first this one. Okay. So, uh, if we are in the uh, uh, proper proper pra fraction, so we can use the uh, partial fractions. Uh, we're in. We can now uh, convert this into repeated linear, which is we have uh, x uh, raised to 2. So, we have a all over x raised to 1 plus b all over x raised to 2. And for this one, we have to need to add c x plus 1 only. Okay? So, um, another uh, thing is to um, um, is to uh, clearing of fractions wherein we will multiply this by it's, it's um, LCD which is x squared times x plus 1. We will multiply this whole term with uh, x squared by x plus 1. So this will cancel out and we're left with x squared plus 1 is equal to um, a x x plus 1, right? This x, uh, x squared all over x, we have to cancel this out and remain with 1x here times x plus 1 plus b. So x squared will cancel out but we need to multiply b by x plus 1. And then for c, we will cancel this out and our c will multiply to x squared. And this is now our um, new equation. Equation. So from here, say this is now our equation 2. This, this is our um, equation 1. Okay. Okay. After multiplying its LCD, can now come up with equation 2. Then from here, we need to get or determine the value of our constants. So we have 3, we have A, B, and C. Okay? So, um, how can we do that? Uh, we need to uh, substitute some value of x to simplify our equation or to uh, make other uh, term or other uh, variable vanish so that we can compute with one unknown constant okay so say we have x plus one here so if we let our x is equal to uh, negative one right in order for um, um for this one to become a zero so we have we let negative one then from uh, equation two if we substitute x is equal to negative one to our equation two we have negative one squared plus 1 is equal to a and our x is negative 1 then uh, negative 1 plus 1 plus b times negative 1 plus 1 also plus c times negative 1 but it is being squared so as you can see here minus 1 plus 1 this is 0 so 0 multiplied by any number is just 0 as well as to this 1 so we have negative 1 squared we have 1 plus 1 is equal to negative 1 squared we have 1 times c we have c so our 2 
is equal to C. Therefore, C is equal to 2. So, let's um, box this important information. So, one other. Another one. Uh, let's think of some number that if we let our x, we can come up with some um, uh, values of our constant. So, say uh, if we let our um, x is, uh, say, um, 0, because if we multiply this uh, a to 0 and c to 0, then we can compute for the value of b. So, if we let is equal to x is equal to 0, then from equation 2, we have x squared, wherein x is 0, so we have 0 squared, or just 0, plus 1, is equal to a multiplied by 0, and then 0 plus 1, plus b, 0 plus 1, plus c, 0 squared. As you can see here, you can now, we can now easily cancel this out, this is equal to 0, as well as this 1, and this is also 0. So we have 1 is equal to, 0 plus 1 is 1, but 1 times b is just b. So, 1 is equal to b, or b is equal to 1. Let's also box this. Okay. So, uh, let's think of another uh, value of x. Okay. So, um, uh, there are more. Can we... Uh, make our equation or some other uh, constant vanish so um, okay we cannot think immediately of some uh, values of x that might help us to cancel out some constant but you can uh, choose any constant that you want but it is suggested that uh, we may assign a smaller value in order for us to calculate it easily okay say uh, uh, what other uh, value of x is um, easy to uh, manipulate our equation. Say we have to let x is equal to 1. Okay, so we assume that x is equal to 1. Then uh, let's use our equation to once again and substitute the value of x is equal to 1. So uh, I can't see. So uh, let me uh, rewrite it. So we have x 1. So we have let me rewrite our equation to here so I can clearly see it x plus 1 plus e. x plus 1 plus c e. x squared. Okay. So from here, if we let our x is equal to 1, so we have a 1 squared plus 1 is equal to e times 1, 1 plus 1 plus b, 1 plus 1 plus c, 1 squared. In this, this 1 squared is just 1 plus 1, we have 2. We have a times 1, we have a, by uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we have 2a, plus 1 plus 1 is 2, we have 2b, plus uh, c, 1 squared is just 1, multiplied by c equals c. So how can we solve for the value of our, we have c, b. So we can use this value of c and b. c is equal to 2b is equal to 1. c is equal to, I'm not b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 2 so uh, by uh, using algebra we can now compute for the value of a so we have 2 2 times 1 plus 2 we have 4 so 2 minus 4 is equal to 2a right so we have negative 2 is equal to 2a therefore we have a is equal to negative 1 right so we have a is equal to negative 1 Okay, by letting our x is equal to negative 1. So, uh, do not um, worry. Um, this is, we let um, some values, we let our x equal to some constant in order for us to only determine the values of our a, b, and c. But, uh, since um, it's suggested to use uh, lower values in order for us to easily uh, compute our um, equation without using any tool like calculator or what but you can also try some uh, values for example um, instead of using this one let's try to let our x is equal to uh, maybe uh, say 10 okay so what will happen so if we let our x equal to 10 so we have 10 squared plus 1 is equal to a times 10 times 10 plus 1 plus b wherein our b is 
uh, 1. So we have 1 times uh, 10 plus 1 plus our value of c is 2. So we have 2 times 10 squared. Okay, from here, 10 squared is 100 plus 1. So we have 101. Uh, and a, 1, uh, 10 plus 1 is 11 times 10. So we have 110. Or uh, I can rewrite this. 110A plus 10 plus 1 is 11 plus 10 squared is 100 times 2 so we have 200 okay so uh, therefore 110A is uh, 101 is 1 minus 11 minus 200 so we have what's this? Um, 101 101 minus 11 minus 200 is uh, it's uh, negative 110, right? So we have 110. Therefore, our A is... Sorry. Over 110. So we have... Um, this is negative 1. Negative 1 is equal to A. Right, so therefore, A is still negative 1. Okay. Okay. We've only... Uh, do this to... Um, uh, assure you that... Um, letting any number here um, can still uh, we can still uh, determine the value of a either it is a small or a big uh, big uh, value of constant okay but um, it is suggested long that uh, we can use a smaller value to easily um, compute our values without having any trouble in uh, in uh, computing your uh, value of a okay so we've come up with same answer. So um, it's up to you which one you wanna use. Okay, so right. Since we already know the value of our a, b, and c, where in our a is equal to negative one, our b is no no, b is one and our c is two. One c is two. So we can now um, use these um, partial fractions here. Okay. So from here. We say that it is equal to um, this one. So, um, so a all over x plus b all over x squared plus c all over x plus 1 dx, right? This one. This part. But we um, uh, do some algebra in determining the values of our constant a, b, and c. So, after we, uh, after we have done the algebra, we now come up with values of a which is negative 1. So, we have negative 1 all over x plus our d is 1 so we have 1 all over x squared and then c is 2 all over x plus 1 right and then e of x so from here you can now easily perform our uh, uh, integral okay by using the um, uh, our uh, basic rules or formula so negative 1 over x or dx over x we have negative ln of x and then for this one we can rewrite this as um can rewrite this as uh, x negative two right so we have uh, uh plus x uh negative two plus one we have negative one all over negative one and then plus two ln of x plus one and then our plus c then simplifying this we have negative ln of x minus we we'll change it into a negative sign negative x negative one plus 2 ln of x plus 1 plus c okay but um uh, we can uh, further uh, do some some uh, simplifications here by uh, by uh, combining our uh, our ln so we can rewrite this as uh, ln of uh, this is positive, so we have x plus 1 and we'll raise it to 2 and this is negative ln of x, so we have x, okay? Then minus this x raised to negative 1 here is just equal to x, 1 over x, then our plus c. This will came our final answer using the, uh, the case 2, which is the... Uh, uh, the, uh, integration of rational fractions consisting of repeated linear factors, denominator consisting of repeated linear factors.